What's up guys? I wanted to share a couple things I've been working on. Um, these coal loads in my last video, I was wanting to show you those and the coal hoppers. Bring them around here. And a few things from the hobby shop. Some detail parts, uh, MU hoses, MU hoses, yeah, uh, MU receptacle with, or MU cable with receptacle, plug and stand, I got a couple of those, speedometer, cable, bright boy pad, some more drill bits, radio antennas, as you can see I've already opened that one because I put it on the GP38-2 I've been working on and a chassis system rock pilot and some uh, bagged coal to make some homemade coal loads because I can't find any more pre-made ones around here so I'm going to make some for these last two uh, 100 ton hoppers over here but here's the uh, in my last video I'd showed you the coal loads and these two coal uh, hopper here, hoppers right here I got I haven't done anything to them yet other than put the coal loads. I did have to cut these coal loads down. They were too big. It wouldn't fit. But uh, they fit in there okay now. Um, these ones, which are a different style of coal load, they fit perfect in these four. And I also weathered these ones um, finally after uh, probably a year. Let me get on the other side here. I didn't really do a whole lot to them. Just kind of sprayed them with uh, a dirt. Uh, paint and done the trucks and the wheels and stuff, but they look a lot better than just being, you know, kind of like that. These right here, the bowels are 100 ton uh, coal hoppers, and these are uh, Wathers. These actually came in a six pack. I'll talk about that in my last video. Um, I've also been working on oh, this uh, X Conrail GP38 2. I've been putting detail parts and stuff on it. Snow plow and me hoses. Uh, I put a speed speedometer th uh, cable on it. The Sinclair antenna. Spark arresters, lift rings. And I've weathered it a little bit. And scraped all the Conrail lettering and stuff off of it. This was a... Uh, Operation Lifesaver uh, locomotive, so there was quite a bit of scraping to do on it. Left the factory number. Uh, I think that's about all I've done to it. I still need to get some coupler cut bars for the front and the back. Try to focus it in, it ain't wanting to. There we go. This is an Aethern ready to roll, uh, non-DCC ready. I had to hardwire an NCE decoder into it. It's still got the factory uh, light bulb in the front. I did put a light in the rear. I don't have it turned on right now, or I'd show it to you. But it don't have LEDs. I'd like to put LEDs in it. I like to put LEDs in every Aethern I have because those incandescent bulbs are... I don't like them. They blow out real easy, I think. Uh, oh yeah, the big thing I purchased, well I purchased a couple more, uh, I thought this thing right here was cool for airbrush, it's, you can see how much bigger it is than a regular one, that's handy for like your, I like to mix up a lot of paint, like I have a dirt collar, a fade collar that I put in like, uh, these uh, like water bottles, they're already pre-mixed, just shake them up and pour them in. And having that big bottle like that, where was it at? Makes it easy. Um, and then one thing I'm really excited about uh, that I just got is 
a new airbrush. This is a probably not gonna say it right, but Iwata I W A T A. Very nice, very nice. I haven't ran any paint through it yet. It's a double action, kind of like that's my old one over there. But it's I bought a ten foot braided uh, airline also but I can't wait to use it I'm gonna use it here in a little bit actually this is my old one double action uh, Pesci or something like that I'm not really sure how you say it either <laughs> what's up with these airbrush companies using these crazy names but it's it's a good one too this is a good one if you got big hands as you can see it's a lot bigger but I don't have real big hands and I've always wanted one of these Iwatas. I got a pretty good deal on it, so. I don't know. It's pretty nice. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, well, it come with the airbrush, the little tool, and this uh, little plastic uh, bottle. Big mouth. But the cool thing is, is these Pashi uh, bottles will fit in it, too, so. But uh, that's all I was wanting to share with you guys, uh, comment and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.